Welcome back to another episode of the Unbreakable Sentai podcast, everybody. I'm James. Ooh, ooh, I'm Darius. And I'm Noah. Hey, we got Noah. a we got a podcast today. <laughs> Fully yes, we do. Podcast. Fully planned, guys. It every, is. every two weeks on the dot. Let me tell you about my fucking experience yesterday. Yeah. So James gets off work and he's like, I'm about to go pick up Resident Evil. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna, you know, call them and see if they have a, a you know, extra copy because they always have extra copies of games, correct? Right. You yeah. Were, generally, you, you were a GameStop employee, yeah. especially yeah, unless it's a Nintendo game, yes. Uh, and especially <laughs> you pick AAA games like Resident Evil. You know, I get, I get to my local GameStop. I call them like, hey, can you guys got a copy I can just buy? And this motherfucker tells me no. Damn. And like, this is my, this is the, the GameStop at my house. So they, they didn't have an extra. Uh, Animal Crossing Switch either So I figured They're probably small They probably don't have any extra They suck Yeah mm. I called two more GameStops Both of them We only have for the pre-order copies Damn So they're just not getting Any extra fucking copies That's I mean, uh, GameStop's going down Goddamn recently. right they are They're closing stores Yeah And then fucking now The virus so lethal You didn't even gotta be infected by it <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't know I, I don't know Why Reggie Fizeme Is even going there dude He's, he's gonna get there It's The definition of Sinking sink ship, ship But anyway So I had to fucking Hit up Best Buy and I can't tell you The last time I bought A game at Best Buy Last yeah. time I bought A game at Best Buy Was Kingdom Hearts 1 Like Fuck Jesus. <laughs> That's a That's a solid Like 2003 2001 When's the last time You bought a game at Best Buy Well the last time I bought something at Best Buy Was a couple months ago a But game. not a game Yeah exactly. I bought my SSD there yeah, I bought uh, Harry Super Potter. It's, yeah, it's acceptable to buy, to buy like movies and shit there, but games, I, I never bought fucking, it's been a very long time. Yeah. But yeah, I had to go to Best Buy and they fucking had to beat me at the curb and hand me Weird. my game. <laughs> but I, I got it, thank God. But if I were, were, would if I would have relied on the fucking store that sells games, fuck me, right? Yeah, exactly. Fuck me. So Eat I shit. I'm thinking right now I'm going to have to just preload up Final Fantasy for next week on my PS4 and not even deal with the physicalness. Yeah. But I like physical games. I want those people. come out? Next Friday. Next Friday. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Good, good Friday, actually. For and 7 so we, Remake? Yep. Yeah, so I have all day to play it. But I'm one of those people that, li- that likes a good physical game. I don't I don't like digital yeah. games. I'm the same way, except on my Switch. I'll just take everything digital on the Switch. Fuck it. You That's know what? And, and I've been... I don't know. No, did I tell you guys Switch? Yeah, or at least I knew. So I've been I've been experiencing the joys of the Switch, and it's a good console. It it is a good console. GameCube two point for, for for years, <laughs> Matt is like the biggest Switch fanboy. He would tell me, "Darius, this is the best way of gaming," and I I just thought he was a fucking. I thought he was just a fanboy. And I, I thought he didn't know what he's talking about. Because let's be honest, does Matt ever know what he's talking about? <laughs> No. Tell the truth, James. <laughs> Tell the truth. He was right about a couple things. Yeah. In well, my lifetime of knowing Matt Gerard. <laughs> <laughs> so so I'm, I'm not going to listen to Matt Gerard. And Ryan would say the same shit. Ryan would be like, Darius, if I can't play it in my bed, I don't want to play it. Yeah. And I'm like, Ryan, shut up and just play the game. You can now, sit down and play it. Now, I don't know if you know this uh, about Ryan, Noah, but mm. he played exclusively Nintendo until basically when I met him. The first E3 that he watched something other than Nintendo's direct, like a Nintendo's E3 event, yeah. was when the PS4 was launched. Jesus. So he just ignored Sony and Microsoft and Capcom <laughs> and fucking EA, like everything. Just, eh, it's, if it's not Nintendo, it's not worth it. It's like, motherfucker, yeah, he's, what? He's like a Nintendo fucking fan. He, he acts like Nintendo pays him. Straight up. <laughs> yeah, every once in a while, uh, Darius will shoot be like, hey, how much did you get in your account? Like... <laughs> But yeah, so they were telling me about this, this like Switch shit, and I, I was like, you yeah, know, it's fine, dude. I've been sitting down playing games on my TV my whole life. I'm good. Yeah, I'm playing my Switch, man. It's very nice. Are you to, playing it in handheld mode? It's very nice to, to to play it on your TV and say, oh, I'm tired. Let me lay in bed and grab your game. It's very fucking nice. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. <laughs> it really fucking is, man. I'm kind of, I'm leaning toward what Matt that Matt it might be right. It's a very good way to play the game. Man. Matt's right, man. <laughs> I don't the, the Switch is a fantastic console. I don't want Matt Gerard to be right, but goddamn it. And like, it, so so everybody keeps saying too that it's like a port machine, 
give me the port machine. Like, yeah. ever since I was a yeah. kid, I was like, man, Devil May Cry's fun, but I wish I could play it on the bus. Now I can, if yeah. I ever rode a bus. <laughs> but, like, it's on, my, it's, on my, it's on my fucking system. I could just pick it up and go on my couch and play it or go to a friend's house and be like, ah, this shit's boring. Play it. You know, <laughs> like, give me every single PS2 game on the Switch. All of them. The whole library. Straight up. Fuck it. I'm, I'm, that would be nice. I'm gonna fucking buy Grandia. Yeah, you I'm are. I'm gonna play Grandia too. I'm gonna fucking buy it because I there's no there's no other better place to to play it. Mm-hmm. And I know what Matt means when he's like giving you Persona Switch. I fucking get it now. <laughs> Dude, that shit's never it. happening. <laughs> Give me yeah, everything. Got a Warriors Switch. game, didn't it? Sure did. Great. Yeah. Did that ever P5 come out? Yet? Scramble. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't look at. Muso games. It's canon to the storyline. It is just like dancing. Yeah. <laughs> nice. But <laughs> except for dancing three, because spoiler alert, that character is a door. What's a door mean? And like he's literally a door. The main character of that game turns into a door. Persona, Persona three. three. Yeah. Explain. He kills himself. He sacrifices himself <laughs> to keep back uh, the humanity's death, like like the Thanatos, the like death reflex. Yeah. Um, so that all of humanity doesn't kill themselves. So he's just becomes the Messiah trapped in a door for all of eternity. That's, That's how the game ends? Yeah, he's literally a door. You become a door. <laughs> but uh, isn't That's he? Great. You become a door. Is, is No, because you come into a door. Is Persona Q canon? Technically, maybe. He's in that, isn't he? Yeah, but he's a door. No, he's not. I mean, not in the game. But did, I don't did know. Did you play PQ... Persona Q? No. Uh. No, I, don't, I didn't want to play those dungeon crawlers. <laughs> I was in college and couldn't sink 200 hours into a fucking dungeon crawling game on my 3DS at the moment. Like, I was like, eh, that's cool. They released a, P- a Q2, right? Yep. Yeah. And that had the P5 crew in it. Yeah. So, well, yeah, I guess he's a door. He's a door. <laughs> okay, then. Yep. <laughs> I was great. expecting that. But, but yeah, I appreciate my fucking Switch. I am very scared that uh, we're going to get Drift. I'm so scared about the Drift. Yeah, but Nintendo fixes it for free. Yeah, but I just... Yeah, I've been. I'm all, my, my 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 like left thumbstick already feels looser than the right one, and I'm like, oh shit, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I'm very scared. <laughs> Gotta get a pro controller. Uh, I'm, I'm borrowing James's pro controller right now. Yep. No, oh. but so it works. But in handheld mode, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it with the fucking Joy Cons. Nah, yeah. dude. Put up that kickstand on your pillow next to you and lay sideways with a fucking pro controller. <laughs> <laughs> do maximum comfy. <laughs> I, I guess I can fucking do that. But I, yeah, I totally agree with you, James. Give me everything on Switch. Yeah. Give me all the ports. Give me all the PS2 games. I'm still waiting on Onimusha 2. I'm still waiting on uh, uh, what, what anything else. Final yeah, Fantasy 10 is on more Switch, backwards compatibility. Final Fantasy what? Hang 10? on. Backwards 10 and 12. Nice. Yeah. Like virtual console for sure. Yeah, because I N sixty four next. Yeah. Or ga- or Game Boy. I don't care which one they GameCube, do. GameCube N sixty four. Game Boy Advance. Yeah. I'll, t- I'll t- give me the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, Nintendo's taking their sweet time with that shit. Yeah, because they always do. Because Nintendo doesn't know how internet works. And, <laughs> yeah, and they don't have to rush. This is, is they're 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 in a great position right now. What did you tell me? They sold like three three thousand switches just based off. Yeah, Animal yeah. They, they sold like in Japan alone three hundred thousand extra switches <laughs> the day that Animal Crossing came out. Jesus, that's in Japan only. So that's not even counting the rest of the goddamn world. Wow. And what's three hundred times three hundred thousand? Fuck is what that is. That's a <laughs> lot of fucking money. <laughs> like oh shit, I kind of. Is, Resident Evil 4 is on Switch. I kind of want it now. I bought it. Oh it's super good. Is there a physical copy? No. Uh, they have no. the triple pack, don't they? The yeah, they do. Four, but, five, and the one no one wants. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think it came with car- on cartridges. Uh, I don't think it was three cartridges in there, so I think it might have just given you a download. But. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to get next on my Switch. Resident Evil 4. It's $20. You can't say no to that price. I mean, I mean, I want Astro- I want to play Astro Chain. Yeah, Astro Chain looks really good. Yeah, I haven't played it. I've heard good things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want to play that. And fucking Xenoblade. May. Fucking Xenoblade. Comes out May. Oh, the my God. Remaster. Yeah. It looks so good. It has extra content at the end of the game. Yeah. And I want to play Xenoblade 2. Yep. I forgot Xenoblade 2 is on there. I like Xenoblade. Oh, shit. Xenoblade <laughs> 2. That guy looks like Jeff. Jeff, come in here. <laughs> 
So, so yeah, it, I had to fucking back to my Resident Evil story. I had to fucking go to the Best Buy and pick up my my game, and luckily I got it. But um, I'm playing Resident Evil. Yeah, James, you beat it how many times? Well, hang on. How far are you? Would you say, Darius? Uh, how many I hours? Ju- did I you just put met in? Kendo. Yeah, you just met Kendo, yeah. so that's good. That was a good cutscene. I yeah. love that. Get the fuck down. Oh, Jill, what's up? <laughs> like, damn, girl. Uh, I've beaten it four times on my fifth playthrough. Um, it came out yesterday, and I probably started playing it at 3 p.m. Midday. Yeah. Jesus. So, not that it's short, uh, like uh, a short game, because like, it kind of is. My first playthrough, I beat in like four hours, 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, but then every playthrough after that has just been quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker. Um, but the cool thing to know is that if you beat it on hardcore, like whatever, cause hardcore, I wish I'd played it on hardcore first. I played it on standard and hardcore is as difficult as normal was on Resident Evil two. So like hmm. so normal is easier than like normal is easy. Assisted is piss babby mode. Yeah. Um, but apparently when you play the next difficulty, which is nightmare, it completely changes enemies. The, the entire game is completely different. Like placement? Or... Yeah. And, like, type. Mm. So, like, in a part, you might get two dogs. And instead of that, you'll get, like, a zombie and a hunter. And you're like, oh, that's fucking different. Like, oh, uh, shit. So, that sounds super hype. Yeah. Like. Have you not got Nightmare yet? Or played Nightmare? No, you have to beat Hardcore to unlock Nightmare. And when you beat Nightmare, you unlock Inferno. Um, But I want to, like, <laughs> I'm just going for stupid unlocks right now because I want to get the Platinum. Inferno? How bad is Inferno? Does Nemesis just look at you and you die? Apparently. Because guess what? As the difficulties go up, Nemesis' speed goes up. Oh, shit. So, like, on assisted... He's already fast, though. Yeah. On assisted, he does this charge move with the flamethrower, where, like, he hits you and, like, pulls you into the air and throws you around. Yeah, he did that to me. On assisted, he looks like he's moving in slow motion. I thought my game bugged. On normal, it's actually like, oh, that's a good speed. Like, he runs at a good clip. I can't imagine how Nightmare, that move. He probably goes like a stinger, like Devil May Cry, where he just shoots across the whole map. Just, <laughs> <"Whoa!"> <laughs> um, but that game's fun as fuck. It is. Nemesis is a... Uh, he, he He's thirsty. Yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, was, I was like, you get a taste really? of him in the very beginning, <laughs> but it's like a, it's like a scripted taste. Yeah. But once he like went full into effect, I was like, okay, he was bad in the original game. How bad is he gonna be? I'm like running. I'm like, okay, he's he's rough. And then I like ran into like two zombies in the hallway, and I was like trying to get by the other zombie while Nemesis was by, was behind me, and the zombie went into the animation of like, okay, I'm about to get bit, and the literally a split second, Nemesis football rushed in. Pushed the zombie out the way just so he could get his lick. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, you're so thirsty. Dude. I was I was about to get fucking bit. I was the animation started. And he was like, No! Yeah. <laughs> my Jill. Uh I was running at two zombies too, a similar way, yeah. and he did the fucking common rider kick and kicked one out of the way to look at me and be like, Oh, were you going for these stairs? <laughs> They're my stairs now. You could have got past the zombie, but now my stairs. And I was like, yeah, your stairs. You fucking got yeah, he plays no game. He's like, he jumps on a wall and shit just to get in your path. Dude, he's Spider-Man. I tried to, I ran towards a ladder my first playthrough, and I saw him tentacle from across the way up to the top of it, kind of hung and looked down in that Spider-Man pose before just calmly letting go. Like fucking Dave Chappelle when he's goddamn Prince, shirts v. <laughs> blouses, when he just drops from the basket. And I was like, yeah. Oh, okay, I guess I'll go left. <laughs> like, and then fucking the, 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 when he did when he like he like he can fuck with zombies and make them, I guess, more powerful. Yeah. Uh, if they grab you, if you don't break out of their attack, it's an insta kill. Goddamn. Yeah, I, I saw that. They also get a long range attack, so watch out. Yeah, I, I, the, the first one I saw, I literally was like, nope. I just ran the other way. I was like, I'm not even dealing with that shit. Not even dealing with that shit. How how good are how like good are you with the knife? Can you just flat out kill a zombie with the knife? And, Me personally, yeah. yeah, from time to time. Yeah, I I thought the knife was gonna be like a little bit easier to use, but I thought it was gonna be just killing everything with a knife. Yeah, I'm like, it's not really working. She has a stab. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, 
if you slow make small circles while you're holding the knife, she doesn't do the back step, so you can stay in there. Oh, okay. Because that's the one thing is like when you stab while standing still, she like stabs and then takes a step back to be like get out of range, yeah. which is smart. But I don't want that. I want to keep stabbing. Right. Like, if I'm stabbing the zombie on the ground, it's because I don't want to shoot it. Like, <laughs> let me stay in his asshole. Yeah. Um, I, I, if I, if you do a perfect dodge with the knife out you get a free uppercut with the knife where she slashes up its entire body and the zombie drops. Oh, wow. So, like... Usually when I do a perfect dodge, I'm running away. Yeah. So I'm not pressing the attack button. <laughs> yeah, you have to aim. When you do a perfect dodge, you have to aim and then hit attack. Okay. Because um, it also slows it down and lets you, like, get a couple shots off. Nice. So, like, it actually gives you, like, Metal Gear Solid time slow and you're like... Yeah. Nice. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. I, I, I was telling you, though, the game feels like it just feels a, a little bit miniature. Like, uh, it's, it's faster pace, but it's just like it feels like I hit a I hit a fucking Idobots and, and a typewriter and then I walk down the hall and there's another Idobots and a typewriter. It's like spread it out more, guys. Give me. It's because not all of those safe rooms are safe. Nemesis can come into some of them. What? Yeah. I thought that was a misrelation. No. no, some of them, Mister, he can just. Oh, were you writing? <laughs> well, let me assist you. You know, like I'm gonna put a new chapter into that book you write. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> no. Yeah, enjoy that. No. Uh, and then uh, I was gonna say something else. Shit. Sure. Uh, it does feel contained, but. They expanded later areas from the base game. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, the um, the hospital is, like, a big fucking area now. The yeah, hospital is kind of small in the first one. Yeah, it's, like, six rooms yeah. in the first one. And it's just, like, yeah? yeah. And they were, like, yeah. And, and this is, like, a proper fucking hospital. Yeah. Like, it's uh-huh. a good area. Dude, the fucking the, the train puzzle stopped me it like it stopped me in my trash for like five minutes because oh, yeah? i didn't see the first uh the like the first like transfer thing yeah like, the one you can't fuck with oh so you it. thought you were <laughs> yeah I, I literally was like what is going on here there's a puzzle where like you have to it starts and ends and you have to make the track because you're running the tram controls okay and the first one and the last one are stuck so you can't change them but the other options all flip through even the first and, like, last one's names. So Darius was like, why isn't this fucking working? But he was like, okay, I want to go from the first station to the first station to the... And it just didn't fucking work. Uh, it was, uh, for a good five minutes, I was like... I, for, I was like, because I didn't uh, hook my PS4 up to the internet. So I was like, did I miss a day one patch? Is <laughs> this a glitch? Is this broken? That's always the worst. Like the the horror, right? Is oh no, <laughs> did I encounter the bug? No one online knows what's yeah. going on. Yeah, the like, first day, dude. Yeah, but uh, I, I'm enjoying it. I have a lot of bullets, which is like now it makes more sense. Where you said that normal is a little bit easier than I had a crazy amount of ammo. But even by the end of the game, I had like 30 grenade launcher rounds. And I'm like, really? Yeah. Really? So you, we, even if you never played hardcore on the previous game, Darius, play hardcore, play right? hardcore yeah, on I'm, this one. I'm almost definitely going to do that. I'm almost definitely going to do that. And then uh, legitimately play Inferno after you beat that just for, to see the uh, like person differences. Yeah. Because do you know what? Inferno also gives you an extra item pouch right from the beginning. And yeah. the Magnum. It gives you that from the beginning? Yup. It looks you in the eyes and goes, hey, it's going to be rough. <laughs> and Dan was like having a rough time in Nightmare. Like, wow. Like he opened, you, you know, the hallway that you turn down right with the first zombie shows up. Yeah. Uh, there are six zombies in that hallway. Six. Six. And that's the first grouping of enemies you fight. Holy shit. So, like, that, that it, it, it's kind of like how Halo was, right? Where Legendary is canon difficulty. It seems like Nightmare is, like, canon. This is how Resident Evil 3 actually was. Okay. Like, okay. this is what Jill went through. I'm gonna have to do that then. Yep. 
Try, at least once, you know? Even <laughs> if you use the infinite handgun you unlock. Like, just try it, you know? Like, try wait. it without it, but... I can't wait for the infinite handgun. It's it's fun. How are the puzzles in here? Are they... What puzzles? Oh, no. They always slack on the puzzles, dude. Oh. So, you know how you did the tram car? Yeah. You have one more. <sighs> Why are they slacking on the puzzles? Like, <laughs> like two was good. Two had some decent puzzles. But it's never it's never had that feeling of the old one puzzles where you had to like write shit down and fucking figure it out. Yeah, because like they the, the files tell you everything you need to know anyway now. And they highlight it in green. Yep. And it's like okay, yeah, you didn't have to do that. This isn't Matrarard mode. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> that's mean. He knows. He doesn't read. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean Re- Resident Evil Three is really good. Really, really, really good. How's, how's the multiplayer? You I haven't even played fucking it. played it yet. Well, you probably played the beta, right? You oh, both, yeah, yeah. Both you guys played it, right? Beta was fun. Oh. Uh, for Resistance. Oh, yeah, yeah. Played like two rounds of it. Yeah. It was uh, pretty easy. Dan says that it's because he played a round completely fucking different in the actual game. Oh, really? Yeah, like the levels are much longer and there are like custom games and like loads of stuff that you can actually do. And, like, each thing has missions. Like, each level mm-hmm. has missions. So you don't have to do the same thing every time. Like, okay. So I'm like, oh, okay. That seems, like, A good. lot harder. Yeah. <laughs> Considering the map we played had the same objectives. Yeah. You could just find all the stuff and fuck over the guy. Yeah, exactly. Dude, we were dicking the mastermind left and right. Yeah. It was really Except funny. for on our last game that we played because we had a brain-dead teammate. Yeah. We still beat it with more time to spare than the yeah. first time, though. <laughs> so, like, you almost kinda died, felt though. Yeah, fuck him. Brain Dude, dead teammate. How bad was he? He locked he would himself. Stand in doorways. Yeah. AFK. And then we had we had the piece to get out. And then he ran into a room and the door locked behind him. And he had to fight a bunch of enemies and leave. And we're like, why'd you go in there? We yeah, were yeah. done. The bathroom <laughs> with the, uh, what, the loot goblin type zombie yeah. in it. And it was like, dude, what are you fucking doing? Like, stupid people, stupid people, man. And he was like on the ground during like the final standoff. Yeah, we had to pick was, him up. Yeah, we had to. <laughs> it, it told us the option was that we could just leave without him or leave alone. Yeah. If we leave alone, we would win. Like individually, you would win, but you would get less points than if you all survived. And we're like. <sighs> proper cooperation i guess we'll pick this fucking idiot up <laughs> like should i be should i be down in nemesis every time i see him is there like something um, do you get something for how the- many gun parts have you gotten from him none none okay every unique time he shows up so like the first time he shows up when he breaks through the wall mm-hmm. down him he'll drop a gun part and every time after that so like you drop him there he drops a part uh, when he shows up, when he's doing the tentacle, like showing you how his zombie thing works, mm. drop him there. He'll drop a part. It's but every other time that you drop him, he'll either drop nothing or ammo. Yeah, I just got ammo for the one time when I was running through a train station. Yeah, so th- that wasn't one of the times. What, what gun parts is it? What, what uh, gun do you get? You get a magazine for your handgun that increases the handgun's capacity to thirty-three. Okay. Um, and then you also get a thing that makes it so you get crits way more often when you let it like. So I just got down twice. Well, you already missed him. You're fucked. Oh, okay. Yeah. Never mind then. Rip. Rest in peeps. <laughs> I uh, I didn't get the crit thing my first playthrough either, mm. so don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to keep running from him. Yep. Nice. Okay, man. Nice. <laughs> I can't wait to, to finish it off. And How's the uh, the worm, Gravedigger? Uh, he's not right? in the game. What? No. I said he was. I thought he was. Are spiders in the game? No. How'd you feel about those, uh, how do you, how do you read it apart with the, I hated that. I hate that too. So, so here's the thing that this is somebody on the dev team had weird fetish porn going on and they let it in. So you get to a part and this is bad because they already showed you in a note and a character not to let this happen. Cause person's mm-hmm. like, Oh, a thing like spit something down my throat and like maggots. I, I, yeah. Yeah. My- worms worms were like in my throat and and i couldn't get them out but i remembered what my grandmother said which is like eat herbs and bugs hate them so he ate an herb and he puked them out and he was like i'm fine and then you find a dead body and when you pick up the item on it his stomach explodes and like parasites come out yeah so immediately after that there are two green herbs and when you use his item to unlock the door 
a bug thing comes out and sticks its tongue down Jill's throat and like you get the parasite thing. So you have to use an herb right away. Yeah. But like you already did the environmental storytelling. Why make the main character look weak by having them insta get grabbed and there's nothing you can do about it. And like, it's a gross thing of like, it grabs her. She doesn't even really struggle. And it like, big old fucking like dick tongue down her throat. Yeah. Jesus. And then it's gone. And it's like, yeah, I, I was like, is she infected? You know, like, yeah. And like when you open up your inventory, there's a little thing by your status that says parasite and it shows little bugs. Mm. But it's like, you already did the environmental storytelling. You don't need to force it on us. Yeah. And I, this is stupid. There's a trophy for healing no more than one time, which means that the trophy is actually heal zero times and beat the game because you have to heal right there because that status will kill you. So it's like, and she doesn't even like use a cutscene herb to like mm. be like, oh, ooh. It's like you, you have use to use own. a healing item. And it's like, yeah, it's guys. pretty lame. One thing I did like is when they showed uh, Carlos using the first day spray in the cutscene to, uh, to the dude on train who's hurt. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, he, he like, actually uses the spray. I'm like, okay, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. That's pretty neat. I think I skipped it because I saw that cutscene in the... In the demo? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I'm really upset that you didn't play the demo. Right. They changed enemy placements and how certain enemies worked in the regular game from the demo. Yeah, how far did the demo go? Uh, So the demo starts at the train. Okay. And ends when... um. You go to Sewers. start the fire, like take the water, like use the hose to douse yeah. the fire. It ends with the hose? Yep. That's super short. It is, just like the original demo. Uh -huh. And it changes it too, because when you use the hose there, Nemesis bursts out of the brick wall. And he doesn't do that in the regular game. So I was like, all right, Nemesis is going to be here. I'm ready. Where the fuck you at? Where you at, Nemesis? Not there. And I'm like, oh. Okay. <laughs> so it threw me for a loop. I had wow. no idea what to do. Yeah, I, I don't like how they did the fucking cockroach bugs in this one. Yeah. And they go down so easy. Like, to fucking two shots. Yeah, with, with a pistol. Because like, when I first saw it, I was like, okay, these motherfuckers are hard. I busted out the shotgun. And then I, fi I figured out, hold on. I can use a pistol on these. But they're like, uh, I saw how many it was. I was like, I don't have enough shotgun bullets for all these guys. And they don't do that much damage. They're just there to stop you from, like, hitting the switches. Because you yeah. have to hold the switches. Yeah. It's so video gamey. That's, the like, one of the only parts in the entire game that I'm like, you could have done that better. Yeah. And then the big giant toads are fucking disgusting. Yep. <laughs> Good old Hunter Gammas, dude. They're fucking nasty. Oh, well, shit. That was a whole lot of fucking Resident Evil 3 talk. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even beat it yet, so I can't wait to... Go back home and finish that shit. Yeah, and I can't wait to get the platinum by Monday. By the night. <sighs> Probably. <laughs> How about you, Noah? What? Do you play anything fun that wasn't Resident Evil 3 this week? <laughs> Just playing League. Played a lot of World War Z. Yeah, we were dicking, was... dicking people down in World Hell War Z. Yeah. Did you ever get a chance to play more uh, Soul, uh, Dark Souls 3? No. Oh. I haven't. I beat dancer and then i just kind of stopped playing yeah you're still stopped at osiris right yeah yeah if you want some you want to play man i'll fucking do with you <laughs> is osiris the dragon dude yeah, yeah. With the baby okay. yeah the invisible one yeah. yeah do you know there's a texture for that in the game files really yeah there's a gross modeled baby texture but they were like eh, that's a little too much considering <laughs> he slams it into the ground sure. like it was clearly a dead baby yeah and it's like <sighs> <laughs> Bloodborne was all about dead babies. Let's not make more dead baby <laughs> yeah. stuff here. <laughs> yeah, World War Z is fun. And we had an interesting time because we played single player. Mm -hmm. And we went from, this game's really good. Why do people not like it? To, oh, we're starting to see why people don't like it. And then the, we, the Noah was smart and was like, hey, they've got PvP in here. Yeah, Perfect 10. It's that game so went good. up such a good fucking game. Why don't people like it? It's not great, and there's not a whole lot to do. Yeah, the do progression you... isn't satisfying. Is Brad Pitt in there? <laughs> no. No, <laughs> couldn't afford Brad Pitt. They could barely afford to make a game. 
But yeah, man, I, I don't know. Played a lot of Team Deathmatch. Way too much Team Deathmatch. Us and Dan and some random guy who yeah. just double the other players kills yep every sh- game make sure they have a bad time the the highest score that the other team ever got was 34 when we got to 50 and we were like oh that was a surprisingly good game like yeah. normally it's like oh they have 11 <laughs> the, <laughs> the gap just keeps getting wider it's so good <laughs> how are they so bad i don't know it's because communication's key yeah <laughs> yeah and like we always team up where it's at least yep. two people next to each other and people so usually goes like, down then two more will follow then you guys have that ability that makes zombies can't see us yep so like it's pve vp so like during the match sometimes swarms of zombies will come down and 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 they come down wherever the most noise happened so whoever was shooting the most so if you're winning zombies are going to be on your position exactly so dan and i's grenade masks us to make us invisible to zombies so all the zombies will just rush the enemy team yeah then we can just squat up (laughs) and because they have two of them they last long enough to completely negate the entire swarm. Yeah. So Dan will put his down and then they'll go and then they will put his down and it's like, well, have fun with all the zombies. Plus we're still shooting. You. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that's a loose lose situation. Goddamn right, right it is. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and zombies can give you your like special weapon, which for Dan and I is a rocket launcher, which can kill at least one person. Yep. Dan always just shoots his own fucking dick. He'll just <laughs> aim it down and kill himself to get the other person to. She's like, fuck it. You get it. Whoa. Plus it's third person, so you can peek walls and shit. And we just defend a point and just make sure nobody could come in. Yeah, because it's like, oh, they're coming upstairs. We can see them because third person, but we're behind the fucking wall. Yep. Like, it's it's not balanced no. at all. <laughs> we abuse the shit out of it, but it's super fun. Yeah okay anything else you guys want to talk about shit we bought animal crossing we've been playing that on the channel well i did fuck off (laughs) you will when we get the trump bucks yeah uh Um, but animal crossing is super fun with a couple minor annoyances here and there Um, you heard the easter bunny zippers he's a fucking asshole just dump it so like apparently during the easter event they're having you can instead of getting fish or whatever resource you want there's a chance to get an egg so if you're just randomly fishing to try and like earn money you'll just get a worthless egg for furniture you don't worthless it's let's it gives you like 120 bells which is nothing yeah Mm -hmm. and it just sucks because it's like ah cool when I hit this rock, I could get iron or I could get gold or I could get an egg now. Thanks. <laughs> and like, you know that when the egg comes out, you're like, if this event wasn't happening, that would have been gold or I can yeah. feel it. Motherfucker. <laughs> like so pissed. <sighs> Is this the best animal crossing? No, no, really? Yeah. I still, I, I personally still love the first one. Okay. Cute. Yeah. Is it just self-titled. What do you mean? This is just Animal Crossing. Yeah. Okay. Why do you like that one more? It's just the one I grew up with, and there there are some things in this new one that really annoy the piss out of me. Can you have um, more than one island in the first one? Uh, no, and it's not an island. It's like a, a town. Oh. So, like, yeah. Um, but somebody could make their own, like, village and put it on their memory card because it takes up an entire memory card. And then you plug that into slot B and you can visit each other's island, like village that way. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. It was super neat for the GameCube days, you know? Like, it was like, ah, cool. Yeah. But, uh, no, there was just, there's, there's just more charm to it, I think. Really? Yeah. Um, shit, one of these days I'll just throw it up and, like, you can see how, like, kind of charming you it is. your old memory card, your old village? No. Yeah. Even if I did, everybody would have moved out and been like, this whole place is a crack den. Where are you at? <laughs> you know? Like, <laughs> um, but no, I just like the character designs a little bit better, um, and like the clothing options, even though there were less, felt more like interesting. Mm. Um, and then I really hate that your tools break in, in New Horizons. They break after like fucking fifty uses, and there are apparently no unbreakable tools in the game. And it's like, come on, that's kind of annoying, guys. So you gotta make the tools all the time. Yeah, and it wouldn't be so bad. But, like, if I want to make a regular fishing rod, right? A regular fishing rod, the recipe is the flimsy fishing rod and one iron. So, if I my rod breaks, I have to make the flimsy one 
and then spend the exact same amount of time making the new one when I feel like, why didn't you just put a recipe in the game that is five sticks plus one iron makes the good one? Noah, Mm -hmm. I know how to solve this problem. Well, how's the microtransactions, baby? Exactly. Yeah. Let's Ooh. go. Give me a $2 unbreakable fucking fishing rod. I'll do it. Would you buy it? Absolutely. <laughs> no, not a chance. <laughs> yes, you would. People would, though. People would. People I would. People would. Yeah. Nintendo's missing their chance. Hey, dude. Has Nintendo Nintendo ever had microtransactions? Oh, yeah. I'm sure. Have they? Pocket yeah. Camp has subscription services plus loot boxes. Yep. Is that the cell phone game? Yeah. Same with like Mario Run has it and yeah. Mario Kart. Well, Mario Runs, I guess they might have microtransactions. Well, they have character like, buys. I thought. I'm uh, maybe. Mm-hmm. I'm just thinking about that. You have to pay for a full game. Yeah, that's true. I think it's like five bucks or whatever. Which is like fair if they're gonna do that. Yeah, but there probably are microtransactions as well. Yeah, sure. Hey, Nintendo smart. I don't want I don't I don't want microtransactions in my Animal Crossing game. <laughs> and that's the other thing. Animal Crossing is all about relaxation and the idea that like your shit breaks kinda sucks. Yeah. Especially when it's like, oh cool, I just caught my fiftieth fiftieth sea bass. And my sea bass now, on top of being a worthless fish that costs like gives me like three hundred and sixty bells when my mortgage is fucking seven hundred and fifty eight thousand like holy shit yeah right those, those eggs mean nothing exactly they're worthless and then when the event's over throw them away throw them away what are you gonna use them for is throw there anything away. else in the event or is it just that just that <laughs> it sucks dude but yeah like like oh cool my fishing rod broke because i caught a 50th sea bass now i have to go get this or it's like oh man my my bug net broke I've got to run over to my spot and hope an expensive bug isn't in the middle between where I am now and where I can craft because hopefully it doesn't disappear. Well, that bug might be an egg, so you get... Well, <laughs> God, if they had bug eggs, I'd fucking kill myself. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I think the first one's better, and I honestly think New Leaf is better too, which is the 3DS one. Yeah. And Wild World, I think I had more really? fun with. Did this one's ever, really fun. Did you ever play the cell phone one? Dang, you're no. not selling this game to me. Well, that's too bad. No, yeah. I love this game. Maybe I don't want it. No. Well, look. Okay, so so let me put it this way, right? If Pocket Camp's an eighty-five, mm-hmm. New Leaf was an eighty-seven. You know, like w- Wild World was an eighty-seven. Animal Crossing Original was like an eighty-nine. You know, like they're all rock solid games. Was there Animal Crossing on Wii U? No. no. They had a uh, stu- super shitty Mario Party clone. Uh, right. Yeah. yeah. And everyone was like, thanks, oh, we can tell you don't Mario care about Party this clones, system. There's a game on Steam called Pummel Party. Pummel Party? Yeah, it's like Dokapon Kingdom and Mario Party, where you guys can like fuck each other over in like, mini games and shit like that. Ooh, sounds like I'm going to have to buy this so we can play it sometime. Yeah, it looks, <laughs> it looks really fun. Pummel Party? Pummel Party, yeah. yeah like beating up party. I'm in. I'm down. I'll look it up. Put no, that shit I'll on my wish list. <laughs> yeah, no, Animal Crossing's good. Play it. Nice or not. Song. I don't give a shit. I'm not getting paid by Nintendo. Exactly. Well, I want to talk about regret. Damn. <laughs> Jesus Could have Christ. started this podcast with Asking that. all these depressing <laughs> questions. And shit. Is that depressing? Regret, regret is depressing in general. I mean, it's a part of life. Yeah, it doesn't change that it's depressing. It's a part of life. Yeah, like sadness is a part of life time too. Was, what's your emotional low point? Yeah. <laughs> what's the most physical pain and the most emotional pain you've ever felt? I wow, mean, man! It's part of life. I mean, I, this, this just be shit on my mind, you know. Yeah, yeah. I got two weeks to think about shit, and you know. That's true. Shit or on more. Mind. You know, so. So what do you regret, Darius? <laughs> I think my biggest regret. Was going. This is a question I'm going to ask both of you guys. What, what what what's your biggest regret? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a little. Uh, <laughs> no one's looking at me like "fuck you" for asking me. <laughs> I wasn't even looking at you. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I think my biggest regret is never achieving my dream. Well, I mean, what your is grand your total of under thirty. You so not? good job. Uh, of, of like being in the game industry and making games. I never. I, I was never able to. Yeah, Never but able, D- like... Darius, you're fucking 28, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. You're 28. Your entire life's ahead of you. Yeah, some like artists don't even get started till they're like 40s. Yeah, but I don't. I just like. I I don't. 
You're gonna be want miserable to. if you compare yourself to people who are. I'm not. There. I'm not comparing. I'm, it's like, I'm happy. It's just a regret, you know. Like, but you're right. I'm. I, I, I'm. I'm still. I'm not fucking eighty. Yeah. But and I was gonna say, is this really regret or is this more of a hey guys, what's the thing you wish you would do but you were too lazy to do? No, nah, this is this is a regret for me because like I know that I I can do it if I tried hard enough. Yeah. Then you just gotta try hard enough. But that's the thing. I don't think I care enough to try hard enough. That's and fair. That's not your dream. Yeah. I guess that's that's actually a good point, Noah. If you don't care enough. Then, is that your dream? Yeah. I don't know. Why, or is that what you, you thought it? your dream was, but now you realize that it wasn't? Maybe. But then it also makes me think about Destiny. Yeah. Or like, what the, what the, where is that coming? completely out of your control. Yeah, but... If it, you it, believe in it. it. I believe in it. You believe in it? Uh, I believe in willpower. Like, yeah. if you want to achieve something and you set yourself to do it, you might achieve it. Yeah, but it's not going to get handed to you. Right. Like, you got to put in work. You can't just. So, you don't believe in Destiny? Yes or no? Well, like, in the abstract, Destiny is just whatever happens to you, and you literally have no control over that. I mean, yeah, you're right. That's that's kind of what Destiny is. But, but like, the regret thing kind of makes me figure out, like, what the fuck is my Destiny? Is my Destiny not to fucking do art and make video games? Well, I mean, if you've done everything you can do to get to that point and it's still not happening, then maybe not. But if you haven't, like, put in the effort, you can't just say, like, oh, that's not my destiny to be there. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know. It's got me questioning my destiny now. Which is, like, a <laughs> weird thing to, qu- to question. Yeah. Because I think it, as a concept, you're not allowed to question destiny, you know? Yeah. Not, like, towards you. Like, but no like, matter what happens, yeah. it's your destiny. Because, like, even if even if you could question destiny, if destiny were real, then questioning it would do nothing because it's going to happen regardless. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I, I, I get what you're saying. But, like, back to what, what James was saying. Like. What did I say? Uh, <laughs> you, you were like, Darius, <laughs> you're 28. Like, you have your whole life ahead of you. You could do, you could still do it. Like, I don't know, like, me personally, I, 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 I get things done by putting a lot of pressure on myself. Mm-hmm. So, like, that's just pressure I put on myself of, like, why aren't you doing this? You ain't do it yet. Yeah. And, like, I'm, it's probably not the best way to live, but that's just how I learn how to do things. And that's just, like, that's been on my mind a lot. Of, like, it's one of those moments where you, I look at myself and I'm like, did, am I doing it? Did I do it or... Am I doing what I'm, what I'm doing? Is it right? Is it what I'm supposed to be doing? And I don't know. Dude, it's been if you're happy, then it doesn't matter, I guess. True. But I'll also be very happy if I was doing what I'm doing now in life. Not like work-wise, but like progressing in life and also following my dream. Yeah. I'll be double happy, but just fucking double happy. Like, is that, can you measure <laughs> happiness, you know? Yeah, it's like a double negative. If you're double happy, you get sad. You know? <laughs> I don't um, know, it depends on, like, what you want. If you want to work in the game industry, you just have to set out to do it and work on, I don't know what you want to do in the game industry. I'm assuming art, but you got to, like, study art more, create more, and just do it every day. And then that's where the gr- regret comes in, because it's like, because you haven't been recently. Yeah, yeah I'll rather... Do you guys want to make a mobile game? Hey, man, if it's worth doing tomorrow, it's worth doing today. True. You it's guys just... want to make a mobile game? We can make a billion dollars off that shit. Make a mobile... I don't respect mobile games. Wow, Darius. Mobile games are lucrative. Let's make a mobile game. Get I, your foot in the door. I don't know. You want to code? I'll learn. <laughs> yeah. Next time the Humble Bundle thing right? of learning how to code is, I'll do it. Fuck it. But yeah, I don't know. That's like uh, that's just ready to like model. a <laughs> huge part. To model that much. <laughs> this is like a huge part of my regret because I always felt like I taught myself like how to draw and shit. I was like never naturally gifted, so I always felt like if I could teach myself this, I could teach myself anything. And re- the, the, the like regret that like presses down on my soul kind of is like you didn't teach yourself well enough how to do this shit to get in to get into the field and but I, well, is like, it regret at that point i mean i think it's regret if you turn 80 and it didn't that like you know and you still feel that yeah way. you still have like the chance to like get there it's i guess it is like regret but 
I think but it's I think completely it's, regret. Yeah, I think it's more regret at what you're not doing so much as regret at that you're not that you that you're not you, there exactly. Yeah. Because I, I wouldn't say it's regret on you missing your dream, like how you like framed it. Because you mm-hmm. haven't missed it. The exactly. is going to be there in 30 years. No, I don't know. This entertainment <laughs> isn't going anywhere. Yeah. And it's like, I think it's more regret at your current actions. Yeah. Which is fair. Yeah. I don't know. Try not to. I try not to like, I try to make, like tell myself it's cool because the whole destiny thing. Because I do believe in destiny. That like, this is like just your story right now, and this is like something you gotta go through, and this is it's fine if it doesn't work out, and like, right. That's how I try to like make myself feel better about it. But uh, why don't you guys share me share your biggest regrets? <laughs> Do you even have regrets? That's the real question. No. <laughs> Everybody regrets something. Yeah, but I feel like there's like there's a difference between like true regret right. and being and like, like ah oh, dang I should have bought the pizza yeah you or know? I should have like, said this or that or yeah because like I, I I don't really have any like true like oh man why didn't I do this differently right. in life so at least not yet I'm uh, 27 so give it a couple 25. more years <laughs> what'd you say 25 I keep forgetting that you're younger than me yeah I'm pretty young yeah I've always been the youngest. Did you think he was 25? I never really thought about his age. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at me like I'm in high school or something. <laughs> yeah, like right. Goo goo gaga over there <laughs> sitting in the seat. <laughs> but no, no, I, I don't really have any like... Because I don't want to say I like, live in the moment, but like, yeah. I'm always content with whatever happens. Yeah. Even if the outcome is bad. Because it's like, I, I tried my best. What can I... Like, I... I, I can I can be sad at it, like if a thing happened, you know, but like, yeah. Okay, You're, you don't have to have an answer. That's that's perfectly understandable. Wow, here he is saying that I don't have an answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I mean, my regrets probably in the same vein as yours. Just my art needs to be better, and I've been taking steps to like do that recently. Yeah, this last right week, I've been pretty bad about it, but I've been like practicing anatomy and form and i've getting I've been getting better at it i still have a lot to learn mostly with like proportions i fucked that up real bad so i'm not looking at reference yeah, you but should I've, look at reference but yeah you know. i was gonna say i feel like a lot of people fuck it up if they're not looking at reference Cause like yeah look at iraqi right that dude still grabs goddamn leo books and like Raphael books and looks at body proportions when he draws his jojo characters like, he, he still whips the books out and just, you know, yeah, so. Yeah. Do you believe in Destiny, James? Not at all. No? Mm. Do you believe that, never mind, I'm not going to get it that far. Yeah, <laughs> I believe in Destiny just in the fact that whatever happens is your destiny. Yeah. But I believe you have to be active in your life. Do you believe you can change your destiny? Absolutely. Yeah. Because, like. Correct well, me if I'm wrong, but I like, believe no, in destiny no. another way that you do, I guess, because you believe that there is a plan for you already, and that's your destiny. But I believe in whatever happens to me at the end of my life was my destiny. Like there was no plan for it. It's whatever actions I take during my life yeah. will dictate my destiny. You manifest your own destiny, yeah. which is different than manifest destiny because that's a terrible thing that America did. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> if that makes sense no yeah totally it's like looking at it's like the exact same thing but like two sides of a coin yeah like instead yeah, like of you their... believe that your destiny is already planned for you well i believe that whatever i do during my life is my destiny i guess yeah so like <laughs> i don't know it's like weird to say like you don't control your actions because like it's been dictated for you because that will lead you to your destiny well, I guess I'm on the side of my actions will dictate my destiny. I mean, I, I, I most definitely believe you can change your destiny. Sure. For sure. I, I think that's like most definitely a thing. But uh, I'm, I also believe that everything happens for a reason, too. So I don't believe that at all. Yeah. I, I just personally disagree. Yeah. I mean, that's understandable. Like, why, why do you disagree, though? 
Eh, because it's like it's one of those weird things where I I've got a point and it, like 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 I see it a different way because of like what happened to me when I was a kid. But it's like if if there's like a plan for everybody, why do certain people's plans stop short? Yeah. Like I don't want to sound bitter or anything, but it's like shit. My brother's plan ended at age eighteen. Right. It's a shitty plan. Like That's his destiny. Yeah. Like, it's just, like, if I can believe that, then, like, what, like, if I believed in destiny, personally, knowing that that was his destiny, why even fucking bother? Because, like, yeah. how am I supposed to know that my destiny tomorrow isn't, fucking car is going to come through this window? Like, if I, if I actually, like, believed in destiny, like, I'd be like, what's the fucking point? <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, but then, I'm not going to say it, never mind, I was going to say something very mean. Go for it. It's fun nope, podcast. I can't. I, can't. I, <laughs> I I love that man too much. <laughs> okay. Well, now people can just fill it in, and I get to say that the person you were talking about was Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> you love that man too much, so you can't say it because it's mean to him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's just like personally, not like like I said, not in a bitter way, but like yeah. that like shot destiny out of my fucking mindset at a young age because it's just like get fucked if that's a possibility you know like shit that's perfectly understandable i get i get get where you're coming from Mm. and that's why i would never like try and be like darius stop believing in destiny idiot like i'm not like fuck man destiny might be real i'm not gonna say it's not real it's just i don't think it's real you know like it's it's always just like same thing with like religion people like can always like argue shit where somebody can look at look at something and be like, man, look, look how good this is. You know, God did this. You know, look, you can you can see the steps or whatever. Like you know, and then another person could be like, if God's so great, why the Holocaust happened? It's like, uh, yeah, I guess, <laughs> but you know, correct. I guess, <laughs> like, I can't answer that shit. I feel like I feel like this is the same kind of argument. Like, look, man, the Jews needed a trial, all right. Like, they passed, <laughs> guys. No, fucking. <laughs> it's a little dark. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to the fucking emptiness there, a little bit of sandbag. It was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh... <laughs> You both co-signed it by laughing, so you're both, uh, that's admission of guilt right there. Oh both of you, God. guilty, guilty. <laughs> we laughed out of social obligation. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of out of social distancing. <laughs> oh, my God. Doing yeah. a real good job of that. Hey, dude, I'm safe. This is six feet. Y'all fucked. This is not six feet. Between no. my mouth and your mouth, six feet. No, that's not. Trisha, could you give me a tape measure? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'll be back. We you don't guys need keep a talking. tape measure for this. That's not six feet. I'll six your feet. <laughs> He's so full of shit. I can he, smell it from he, here. He wants to be right. It might be six feet. No, Noah. it's probably not six feet, but this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> For We got to go from mouth to mouth. Mouth to mouth. Oh. <laughs> there he is. I'm, I'm going to need you to get stand up and uh, come look at the... Jesus. Fucking hold it out. Jeez. I'm right here. That's nah, it's like five. That's it's a little feet. over five. It's, it's almost six feet. It, it's, we deal in absolutes. <laughs> <laughs> it was 68 inches. All right, we're six inches off. That's half a foot. I'm mad you had the, the, the fucking... The, 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 what's it called? Measuring tape on deck like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just in my other room. <laughs> I didn't expect you to have one. Why? I don't know. Everyone I don't needs have one. one. You need one. What if you need to measure like a couch distance? I'm not buying it. We know what he's measuring. I have a nice couch. Every guy's done it. It's okay. It's okay, James. Every guy's done it. We know what you've been measuring. <laughs> yeah, where's the notch? Hey, this, this is most definitely mouth. six feet for me and you. Yeah, I just want to see how, how big it is. Yeah. 83 inches. Yeah, that's about how I am right there. Yeah? Yeah. You have an 83-inch penis? I mean, you got hey. a girth of, what, one millimeter? All right, like... <laughs> I mean, if you want to admit that you have the most <laughs> useless penis in the world, Darius, feel, feel free. Yeah, I can uh, make money off that, okay? I can do appearances. Yeah, but you wouldn't want to. <laughs> you wrap it around your waist like a Saiyan? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is bad. When I just thought he, like, rolls it up like a fucking fruit by the foot, and then when he gets hard, it just... <laughs> like, like a fucking party... Uh, 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 
Yeah, I know what Zipper. you're talking about. Zipper. I can't remember what they're fucking called. Kazoo? No, no, no. no the, like yeah, the, I know what you're talking about. I don't know. It's not a kazoo? No. no. There's a certain name Is a kazoo for an official instrument? or Technically? Do you yeah, respect guess, anybody who plays a kazoo? I don't think you can be a master of playing the kazoo. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't think you... anyone who pl- who goes, <laughs> who says that their destiny is I'm a kazoo master <laughs> is someone worth respect. Um, for oh, all shit. you kazoo masters I respect there, everybody's craft, by. okay? I don't. Uh... <laughs> Those people that paint with shit, sorry, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Find a better medium. Uh, <laughs> oh man. So shit, that was uh. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, destiny. Destiny oh. to COVID to <laughs> Darius's horrifying penis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's about all I got. You guys good? <laughs> shit, <It's> gonna <laughs> lay us with that fucking deep shit and then be like, I'm out. What do you guys want? Yeah, I mean, I, I got fucking nothing else, you know? Like, yeah. my, my week's been pretty boring. You guys ready for the ending <laughs> question? I don't think anyone's ready for your ending questions, but yeah. we How do them each week is regardless. This one be? <laughs> uh, if you can make the next technological... How do you say it? Techno- technological? Technological? Technological leap. As in making the new, like, iPhone or computers or whatever what would your choice be to do to improve humanity for technology for yeah. technology yeah like what is like the next technological advancement but i get to just make one yeah sure fuck it uh cars that run on salt water <laughs> yeah that's pretty good eliminating fossil fuels it's pretty fucking yeah <laughs> like yeah or well, you know if it's possible Hey, that's not what he said. We yeah, just no, get to I'm make the next leave. <laughs> it would be mighty convenient. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think technology is the next step. Would be some form of AR, like yeah. Google Glass, almost. yeah, like augmented I'll, I'll, reality. Yeah. Oh, that's true. That's probably the next feasible step once yeah. they get to not be the big dumb glasses. I think VR isn't at least as practical. Yeah. No. Absolutely. <clears throat> See, augmented reality is cool because I always thought about this. Is like, even the most simple thing of like putting it in windshields or something, right? Yeah. And then you just literally have a directions marker that's tied yeah. to your maps app that's like GTA, where while you're driving, it'll just tell you that's the street mm-hmm. you have to go on in your windshield. Yeah. And then you can just turn left. You know, like something as simple as that would like super good fuck that would help loads of people right mm-hmm. like you don't have to look down at your phone and you don't have to have like your phone be like on the next phone turn left and you're not, like fuck it'd be annoying but having just that it's like wow that'd be dope yeah some yeah. form of like convenient ar i think would be the way to go yeah if if it was even feasible which it's not right now i think yeah. but like like contacts or something right like that would be the easiest whatever yeah Like, that would be the nicest for the most amount of people. I believe so as well. Uh, I would go with teleportation. Get that. That'd be be fucking dope. That would change everything and make everything so much more easier. Oh, absolutely. Because then you can get more sleep. (laughs) Yeah. That's all I care about. I mean, (laughs) to be fair, I've been working from home and I get less sleep. (laughs) It's fair. (laughs) Well, uh, Dane Cook had a joke about that ages, ages ago when he was talking about DMV. So he's like, dude, even in the future, when we're all like fucking teleporting everywhere and like the commute to work takes like two seconds, we'll be waiting in the DMV for teleportation being like, oh my God, come on. I've got to be to work in seven seconds. <laughs> like, God, how long is this going to take? <laughs> and like, I've always kind of thought about that, right? Because like humans do that in general of like, even if you see the most amazing thing, the next time you see something as good as that, it doesn't hit you as hard. Because, like, think about us when we were kids playing shitty video games, right? We were looking at Metal Gear Solid and Super Mario, like, 64, and going, holy shit, it looks so amazing! But then we see, like, Mario Odyssey or fucking Resident Evil, and we're like, yeah, that looks really good. Yeah. But, but like, we don't get the fucking mind explosion that we did before. So, like, 
I wonder how many years after teleportation was a thing that people would just stop caring about it and like just like you know you know what I mean like stop being like thank God I can teleport. Change, the real yeah. question is, do you think I'll still be late even if we had teleportation? Absolutely, you would. <laughs> yeah. Even if it was like twelve o'clock and Noah showed up at like twelve, t- like twelve even, you'd show up at twelve o two. <laughs> like just just on principle, you'd be like, yeah, dude, we've gotta set it up. Do, 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 do. Or if you could set up a timer where you just instantly teleport, right? Like when it hits the time, yeah. you'd like show up on my living room taking a shit, and I'd be like, "God <laughs> damn it, Darius!" Like, I like brush my teeth or something. Yeah. <laughs> you got some pants, James? Oh, it's cold. <laughs> Uh, oh god uh just tell us what technology you guys want to w- would make real uh just do it in the comments send us an email do I it on you Discord. were asking us no no i'm asking, <laughs> I was like, I'm asking the biblical you, answer you, you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah the email's uh unbreakable sentai at gmail.com that's a good one we've gotten so many emails dudes yeah yeah the last email i got was uh youtube changing their uh terms of service so that's pretty nice Dang, you know nice. that's one email <laughs> thank you for taking time out of your day to listen to us i appreciate it yeah yeah we always appreciate it we're here for you some do you know others. do you really appreciate it yeah, i said some more than others mm. yeah why are you looking at me <laughs> <laughs> i'll slap that smile right off your face boop, boop, boop. <laughs> can you do you have five five feet of uh, arm length i could yeah <laughs> Maybe I'll change my technology to increasing arm length. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you can slap me. Yeah, just so I can slap you from further away. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about getting robot hands the last time. That's true. Get those robot slappers. Get a stendo, a stendo hand. Just yeah, go, go, gadget. <laughs> go, go gadget. Go, go gadget, bitch. Go, go gadget. Give me my money. Like. Yeah, let's play some Guitar Room, man. Yeah, let's play some Guitar Room, man. See you later, everybody. Peace. See you. Bye-bye. Booty. <laughs>